Hello everyone, Father Lamb here, and today's Wednesday again, Wednesday, December 28th. Just seems like a week ago I said we're going to go, you know, this next week's going to go really quickly, and before you know it, Christmas will come and go, and here we are, three days after Christmas. Maybe there's even a sense of relief, maybe a lot of it just kind of tired, just want to chill out. Different people getting sick right now, your defenses are down because everyone's sort of pushing themselves. But here we are, the joy of the, of the Christmas season. What's kind of strange today, I even hesitate to bring it up, and this, this feast today is a feast of the Holy Innocents. And of course, what we're commemorating, as you very well may know, is Herod trying to kill the Christ child and then going out and killing all those babies two years of old and under. Kind of a depressing feast just three days after Christmas, you know? We want to be thinking a lot of happy thoughts. So what's this really all about? Well, since the time Jesus was born, the world has really been trying to push Jesus out. As much as we need a Savior, there's a sense of some not wanting the Savior here. And there's really three areas of temptation uh, the Catholic Church has always taught where uh, we kind of have to fight against, and that's the world, the flesh, and the devil. And constantly the world and our own flesh and the, the presence of the devil is trying to push Jesus out of our world. And that's exactly why we have to hold fast and have a nice foundation, a, a wonderful foundation of faith, of constantly being connected to Christ so we can deal with these forces. So the world comes at us with all sorts of things, you know, pride, uh, ego, uh, the seven deadly sins, you know, you have uh, greed and avarice, just wanting to succeed, you know, all of that, the ways of the world. And the world just wants to push Jesus out. You know, let's not have any nativity scenes in public, all of this. Like it or not, our country was founded on Judeo-Christian uh, principles. That's simply a fact. And the more we push those principles out, the more trouble we're in in our culture because there's no objective truth. And that's part of the reason we want to push Jesus out. Oh, he's fine as a Christ child, a baby, you know, he's innocent, but then he grows up and stands for things and stands against evil and is a part of us that fights that. Because we want, to, we want our sin. We want those character defects. We want to live in them so the world fights them. The world, the flesh, all of our cardinal desires, what we want, don't tell me it's wrong, don't tell me it's a sin, or the devil who's the accuser and the blamer, the one who divides, and that's our culture. And I bring all that up because as we enter into a new year next week, often we make New Year's resolutions. And there's really only one New Year's resolution that we have to do before all others. And it's simply to keep Christ at the center of our lives, at the center of our families, at the center of our church. So maybe that's the commitment. Is Jesus Christ really the center of my life? Letting go of the stuff of the world, the stuff of the devil, the stuff of the flesh. Is Christ the center of my life? Once we do that, everything else will eventually fall into place. If we put anything else ahead of that, that's when we get in trouble. So bring that to prayer this week as we enter into the new year. And you might think of all sorts of New Year's resolutions. There's really only one that matters. Have I placed Christ at the center of my life? Let's spend the next 365 days, each day we wake up, saying, Jesus, come, Lord Jesus, come into the center of my life and remain with me. God bless you.